So I'm going to go over in this tutorial how to create fields and attributes just real quick. Um, should be something you kind of know how to create an attribute already. Um, if you don't know how to create an attribute already, I'm, I'm a very big typer and type all my commands in. Um, you can also go to draw block attribute. But if you type in ATT, you also can put attributes in like this as well. So what we want to do is we want to create a title block using utilizing fields. So everything you see right here all utilizes fields. Um, if you double click on it, you can kind of see my tag, my prompt, and my default. Now the thing that justifies the field or kind of tells you it's a field is you can kind of see this dark gray and a bunch of pound signs right here. That kind of tells me that that is an actual field sitting there. So how do I go about doing that and setting that up just real quick, just a kind of a crash course back into uh, CAD 117 here. Um, when you create an attribute, you're going to give it a tag, which can't really contain any spaces. Um, you're going to put a prompt in. And instead of putting a default value in, you're going to click this guy here where it says insert field. And you're going to select from a wide range of options here. Um, dealing with Sheet Set Manager and what this uh, title block is going to be for for this class, you know, you might see a few here like the project name that might be important to use, um, current sheet title, page number, anything like that um, will be useful for just getting this to work for our class CAD 217. So once you have one done, as you notice, you can just kind of copy them. So just by double, you know, copy this guy three times, double click on them, and you can change the names. Now, obviously, you'll need to change whatever the field is pointing to as well. To do so, just click in it, right click, and then go to Edit Field, and then you can pick what you want that to be set up for. Like this one here is set to Current Sheet Set Project Name. And if you want to make sure it's always in all uppercase, you can do so as well. So once you have this guy done, you have a title block done. I just did a quick 24 by 36. We're going to do a Q save here. And I'm just going to start a new drawing just using a basic, plain, generic template. I'm going to go into Layout Space here, insert a block, of course, which is going to be that title block. And what else do we got? Where are we going? Here we go. Sheet set. I'm just going to let it go in on 0, 0. Hit OK. OK. Zoom extents and delete out this annoying viewport for right now. It doesn't really have much use to us. Don't wonder why my delete key is not working there. There we go. All right. Zoom extents. So as you notice, when the title block comes in, all the stuff is now showing what was in the fields, um, and it's all kind of pounds right now because it's not officially linked to the sheet set manager yet. So let's do that. Um, first things first, we have to save this drawing at least once after the title block is in here to get anything to work. And I'm just going to throw it to my desktop real quick, call it drawing three. Um, also, I'm just going to rename this layout because it is going to pull the name of this layout here. And I'm just going to call this test. So let's create a new sheet set here. Um, we create the new sheet set. Um, we're just going to use existing drawings. You do have an option to use an example sheet set as well. Um, sheet set name is going to be test 9000. Yeah. Alrighty, where is it going to go? It's going to go there. Um, I want it to go to the desktop. There it goes. Um, choose layouts. We're going to hit browse. Go to the desktop real quick. And you'll notice it's going to show me all the drawings on the desktop. Now, I don't want drawing two, but I am going to want drawing three. So I'll click next, finish. Now, if I regen, you'll notice certain things will change. Drawing three layout, I've also forgot to save it after I named that test. Um, also, you'll notice I have page one here, but there's a few other things still missing. So if I right click on sheet 9000 and properties, I can start giving my stuff a, pro a project name. project number, although I don't think I have one in here yet, then hit OK. And of course, if you don't see it update, always do a quick regen and you'll see things appear. Now a few other of these, like this one here, is coded location. Now you'll notice it's all coming out pounds because technically there was no location in the field. So if I go, and you can actually edit this right here, um, if you go, and I'm going to 
to find location here. There it is. And if I click on this guy here and go to edit, you'll see I had to create a sheet set custom and then I called it location. So what I have to do is I'm going to come into project uh, or test 9000 here, go to properties, edit custom. I'm going to I'm going to add one. And you got to call this the same thing you called the other one. Uh, keeping the, CAD, the I call it the CAD caps lock on. And this is per sheet set, not per sheet. Then I can come in here and add a location. When I regen, and you'll see it update right there. So you can kind of see how pretty, how easy it is to link this with Sheet Set Manager. Now that that's done, you can go by and go through and start adding more of these. As you can see, there's a lot of ones in here, like Project Manager, Drawn By, Checked By, Approved By. Um, and you know, you have a list can go on right here. I just kind of did this real quick just to show a few examples. And then your total of sheets needs to be added as well. Once that's all in, the benefits of this is you can go ahead and modify an entire project without this being opened, and you can change everything in the title block just by editing the things here and anything that's sheet per sheet right here, which will save you a lot of time because then in here also you can batch print all of this and just send it right to the printer without having to worry about it. Now to add sheets to it, it's pretty easy. I have no really, oh, okay, I guess I can add one of the sheets here. Um, you can also import a sheet as a layout as well. So let's say I want to add a sheet here. I'm going to browse the desktop. We're going to go to drawing two and see what they got. It says available for import. Now there's my drawing two. Now the nice thing about this, if I open this guy, there's not going to be a title block in here. Delete this guy, insert block, browse, should have my title block right there, okay. If you notice, look what's happening. When I put the title block in here now, it's automatically filling everything out that was already set up. I did a quick regen there. Now, it doesn't have a drawing number yet because I haven't assigned one, so you'll notice it's all dashed there. But as soon as you go here and go to properties, you'll notice sheet number. We can say 2, hit OK. Do a quick regen and it's there. Now the beauty part about all this is you'll notice these are two separate drawings now, right? So if I close this guy, and I'll save changes, and I'm going to go and I'm going to edit this guy's number here. I'm going to say he's now sheet 9. I'm, again, I'm not in this drawing. He's now sheet 9 there. And I'm also going to change College Lake County dash, and I'm going to call it test at the end. Of course, I'm so used to holding shift nowadays, I accidentally always do that now. So I'm going to regen. Now you'll notice it'll say test here, but also note it still says one here. Because again, I'm not in the other drawing yet, I'm not in drawing two, because that's sheet nine. So let's close out of this guy. And I'll show you now that I changed that to sheet nine, when I open up, this guy here is automatically updated. So I don't have to go into each title block to make the changes to the title block now, which saves you a lot of time. If you had 50 sheets and you had to change all the sheet numbers up by one, you can easily just go in here, go into the one that actually that's a brand new drawing, add it in here, and then go through and add all these without having to open this up as well as just send all these to the plotter. So you're printing an entire set without having to open up print, open print, open print, which I can tell you from personal experience does take a long time, especially when you're printing multiple sheets. Now at least you're saving your time, saving yourself all the time to have to open each one and print each one, and you still have to unfortunately go over to the printer and staple them all together, you know, bound them all together. But you know, it does save you a lot of time from having to open 50 sheets, file print, file print, file print. And that's uh, the Sheet Set Manager.